Alright, alright, alrighty, alright. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Day number 1256 coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome first and foremost. Leave a comment right now saying hashtag first timer so I could say hello to you. And if you've been here before, leave a comment saying hashtag before in the chat or the comments right over here or right down there. So with that being said, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's correct, everybody. I'll give you a second to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. The like button is lonely. And let's get 200 thumbs up real quick. So... This email uh, came to us from Brian Richardson again. He's been sending a lot of great stuff. He's a, he's a new patron. Uh, so listen to this. Everyone say thank you to Brian. And he goes, hey, Pete, it's Brian again. Uh, today I've done 12 deliveries, and I have followed every single delivery instruction uh, to, the T, to the T, just like I do every single item. I go under ratings. Uh, and I look to see how I'm doing and I go and see that I got another one star rating for not following delivery instructions, which is BS because I follow every single direction to the T. I'm very OCD and it doesn't make any sense to me why this keeps happening. And I don't understand how one rating can bring your starred rating down so much, but one five star rating doesn't bring your starred rating up to anything. This is uh, one of the biggest issues that I have that I've had and it's people and it's like uh, I'm sorry because he did the voice to text um, issues that I've had. It's like people are out there purposely to give you a one star rating no matter how good or bad you do. Now, it's interesting that he brings this up because this is an ongoing problem and it's in fact it's it's something i haven't really spoken a ton of, a ton of about um but it does happen some drivers out there you know literally could do everything right just like brian is that's how i am too i'm very meticulous on any delivery whatever the whatever the notes say i make sure to follow it to the t as much as possible um on grubhub it doesn't affect it as much hold on one second Alexa, ask the Roomba to pause. Our Roomba is cleaning up. I don't know if you guys could hear that over the mic, but it was really loud. So, um, you know, especially with Grubhub orders, you know, I, I make sure to pay attention to the notes as much as possible. But on Grubhub, the driver, uh, the customer doesn't rate you the same way. On DoorDash, those ratings are everything. And the, the thing I don't like is this. Why do it on a star like scale rating system where it's one to five stars, but really anything under a five star is really not good for your account. You know, why not just have it be a thumbs up or a thumbs down or thumbs up, thumbs down or something in the middle? You know, um, why can't it just be more simplified like that? Because I feel like personally, it may not be Brian's fault at all with following the instructions. A lot of customers are under the mindset, well, you know, I ordered from, you know, Pete's hamburgers, you know, stand or whatever, and the driver did everything right, but Pete forgot to give me extra ketchup, so I'm giving the, star, the, the delivery a one star. DoorDash needs to just get rid of this rating system because it can be skewed in so many different ways, you know, and if a customer is not, you know, educated on the rating system, they may accidentally hit like a, a lower than five star rating, you know, by accident. Maybe they tap the phone and submit it by accident or they're just being, you know, a jerk and having a bad day and taking it out on the driver. You know, these are all possibilities and it's incredibly frustrating and annoying. This is why. I prefer Grubhub. Uh, not only are the payouts usually pretty good and very consistent, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about these damn ratings. Let me just ask everybody watching in the chat or in the comment section, do you think DoorDash should keep the rating system for the drivers or get rid of it? So just comment, keep it or get rid of it. I'm curious what you guys think about that, because like I said, I've been saying this for at least well over a year now, maybe even longer. 
that they really seriously need to get rid of the rating system because it, it does no good for anybody. Like I said, it can be manipulated in too many different ways and people can innocently, you know, put a bad rating or something and not really realize how badly it impacts the driver, you know? I'm just curious what everyone's customer rating is right now. Put that in the chat or put that in the comment section because that's a real issue. And, and if you guys ever want to send me anything, uh, a question or just an idea for a video, email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. I am no longer using Facebook for communication, so any messages that go through there will not be responded to. Uh, email pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That is the way to go about it. So with that being said, everybody, uh, I want to give some big shout outs here to all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. Uh, these people support the channel every month and, uh, you know, they contribute a little something and it goes a long way. So uh, I shout out every single one of these people in every video and uh, click the link in the description or in the pin top comment if you would like to sign up and uh, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name when you hear your name called. BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, uh, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, uh, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Big shout outs to all of you. I'm uh, glad you guys are enjoying the content and all that good stuff. Um, and of course, guys, make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app if you have not done so already. Uh, it's a free app for your smartphone. Gas prices have been going up. A lot of people have been upset about it. So have this as an opportunity to make money back every time you pump at the gas pump. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Click show more, download it. All you have to do is pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, they'll give you anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And, uh, of course, check out PayToDriveStore.com for T-shirts, hoodies, and all that good stuff. PayToDriveStore.com. Link is also in the description. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment end 320 and 320. Let's me know you made it to the end. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications with the little bell icon to the next, uh, to the right. And uh, let's get 200 likes. You guys know what to do. So that's it for me, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until we meet again... Get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And until next time, everybody, um, you know, we'll see you next time here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. I don't know what I was going to say. I had something I was going to say, then just, you know, it went. Anyway, guys, take care. We'll see you on the next one. Be good. Peace out. See ya.